Can you not sleep? Well, even if you grow tired of rest itself, you must persevere for your own sake. Your fever will break soon. I am sure of it. As long as you do as you should, which is nothing, and I continue supplying you with the proper medicine, you will recover. Oh, hush. Having a fever for a week doesn't automatically condemn you to death. You're just so sickly and in pain you're thinking nonsense. Now, I have brought a bowl of water and a wet rag so you can have some relief. For now, I will place it on your forehead to cool you off while I prepare your medicine and check on your wounds. Later on, though, we can use the remaining water to wipe you down and clean you up. You're not going to get any better marinating in your own sweat. <sighs> you act as if I have not cleaned you up before. As far as I remember, I do a lot of the cleaning up after you in this friendship. It's foolish of you to be shy over it now over any other time. Embarrassing? Now you are truly speaking nonsense. Do you know how many people I've had to help clean up today only? Not to be overtly obscene, but over my career I have seen enough naked people to last me a lifetime. At the end of the day, the human body is just that. A body. Generally, they all look the same in the end, so no need to be embarrassed over it. It is my job. Now, I need to prepare that medicine for you. Where is that coriander? I was sure I had some in my bag. Oh, coriander helps in treating fevers. I told you this already, but you must have forgotten. Oh, here it is. This needs to boil into a tea. I am sure you'd rather take it that way rather than me turning it into an unappetizing looking paste. I thought so. Let me get someone to tend to this at the campfire. That way, I do not have to worry over it while changing your bandages and cleaning you off. Hey, Gabrielle, could you heat this up into a tea for me? Yes, it's for them. Usually I tend to it myself, but I am a bit busy today. Thank you for the help. Just bring it by once it's done. All right, now that that is all settled, let us get this blanket off of you. <laughs> I heard that sigh of relief. You were baking under there, weren't you? You know you can take the blankets off if you need it. We wrap you up in them so you not be cold once night falls. But the daytime is another matter entirely. While there is a rumor amongst people throughout Untaram that one can sweat out their sickness, no scholar has brought forward any clear claims that the statement is true. There is no need to sweat yourself out if there is no evidence it will even help. Then you are just making yourself suffer more. <sighs> you can believe whatever you want, but surely you want a bit of relief from the heat, right? I thought so. Tell me, are you feeling more pain than usual from the wound? I mean, obviously it has to constantly ache. It is still early in the healing process. But we need to be sure that things are healing as they should. Extraordinary amounts of pain we need to be aware of so we can find the cause and hopefully fix it before it becomes an issue. You don't understand your pain. Um, how about you try to explain it? And maybe I will understand what's going on. 
It feels like your right arm hurts. Like it's still there. Huh. I suppose it does happen. Oh. Individuals that have been through amputation have claimed that they deal with painful sensations regarding their missing limb. Scholars have named this phantom pains. Seeing as your amputation is still a new development for you, I'm sure your body is still not used to the limb being gone. After some time, perhaps the lingering pain will go away. Or at least not come as often. I should remember to ask you about it in the future. Why? Hermetic studies are never really done. Especially when there's not too much known about the human body. Anything you tell me could be important. Or at least give scholars a clue on the immediate and distant effects of what you've undergone. Also... Prepare your mind for a bit of pain. I have to take off your old bandages. I know it hurts. It will be over soon. For a bit of good news, you should know that your wound is healing nicely. No sign of infection, thank the gods. The salve stings initially, but give it a moment and it will soothe. It is made from a mixture that focuses on easing the pain and keeping it free from infection. Two of the most important things for you right now before I wrap it all up again. <laughs> How have I been? In one word, busy. There is plenty to be done around here. Many were injured during the Battle of Haro. The more weeks that pass, though, the easier my job gets. People either get better or... the alternative. Aside from that, the army is planning on turning some of the buildings in Haro into more permanent medical areas. Obviously, I have to be involved in such matters. Lastly, my brother and I have been thinking about how to help you. In the long run. Well, when you get better, there will be some adjustments to your lifestyle, considering the fact your arm is gone. And, while there's nothing we can do to make things the same as they were before, there is potentially something that can make the change easier. If it was possible, would you want a new arm? <laughs> By the gods, no! We will not be grave robbing and sewing a new arm onto you. When people get injured to the same degree as you, and they have plenty of money to spare, they seek out individuals to carve out or forge themselves a new arm. You are not someone of wealth. But I am. I would cover the cost if you were interested in obtaining one. <sighs> oh, shush. I would not offer the money if I had any qualms with it. And I would like to think that if the roles were reversed, you would do the same for me. Besides, you know I hardly flash around my debutant name. At least now it can be of some use other than endless letters from those boring people in Eurasion. You are welcome. But, again, you should extend your thanks to my brother. He is the one that actually has the connections to make it all happen. Though, we can speak on this matter more when you are not sick. There we go. All wrapped up and clean once again. Yes? Oh, Gabrielle. Is the tea ready? Thank you so much. Here, friend. Time to drink up. <laughs> it's still so funny that it tastes soapy to you. I swear everything is properly cleaned. I think you just don't like the taste of the tea. No, it does not taste like soap to me. Something is wrong with you, not the tea. 
You can call it whatever you like. Just make sure you end up drinking all of your soap tea, so we can move on to your favorite task of getting wiped down by your favorite medic. You are not fine. You smell like a barn, and your clothes are soaked through. If I just left you this way, you would get sicker. When you are all clean and past the thought of this being embarrassing, then you will be relieved I did this. I guarantee it. Well, take all the time you need. I don't have anywhere to run off to at the moment, so I think I will keep someone in particular company. <laughs> Gods, no. The day I have to keep Esteen company? is the day I have to cut off both my ears so I don't have to sit through the torture of listening to him gloat and make horrible advances towards me. You know you're the only one here who can have the privilege of my company. <laughs>